here with brushes, biceps, and bites. And today I'm going to do a first impression video for you on the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day line. We're going to get into that in a second. But first off, it was such a tragic event. Pureology discontinued my Holy Grail hair care, which was the essential repair, the shampoo, conditioner, leave-in, Everything and anything that went in this color container from Pureology was just like, holy grail, kept my hair so hydrated. I can go on and on about how much I love it. It doesn't matter. It no longer exists. So I had to find a new hair care line that I love as much as that one. And it's not going so hot up to this point. So I went out today to Ulta and I got two different travel size kits from Living Proof. I have the Perfect Hair Day one. And then I got the Restore one for restoring damaged hair. Today I am going to do a first impression on the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Kit. And I did already open this just so I wouldn't be struggling with it on camera. Now, you think you're going to get a lot more product in here than you do because it is stuffed with paper. And there's another one still at the bottom. Which kind of bugs me because when you get three products, they're all the same size. They're all two ounces, which is a pretty generous size. This kit is $29. But when they sit at the bottom and they only come up to here, it just is a waste of packaging and a waste of space to me. And I just, I just don't get it. But you get three things. You get the shampoo, the conditioner, and the five-in-one styling treatment. With the line, these are all the same size samples, two ounces, which again, I think is a pretty generous size. It says for the shampoo, hair feels cleaner, longer. It is color safe, sulfate free for all hair types. The, this whole line when used together does five things, smooth, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, and polish, polishes. You use, you apply the shampoo to wet hair, massage into a rich lather, rinse, and follow with a conditioner. The conditioner says it improves hair over time. Again, color safe and silicone free for all hair types. Start with the shampoo, then apply conditioner to clean wet hair. Spread through hair, rinse, and follow with the five-in-one styling treatment. This doesn't say what it does on the front, but it says on damp hair, evenly distribute from roots to ends, comb through, and for best results, blow dry. So... I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower. As you can probably tell, I just got back from the gym. I'm a little bit of a hot mess. And once I shower and get ready and everything, I'm going to come back to you guys and tell you what my first impression of the Living Proof PhD hairline is. So I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I have done my first test of the Living Proof PhD set. This is the travel size set. I don't remember if I had said that before. These are all two ounce sizes of the product. I went with the travel size set so that if I wasn't absolutely in love with the product, I didn't waste my money buying the full size set. And if I love it, then I can go out and buy the full size set. No harm, no foul. Um, I did notice when I was getting out of the shower on the side of the box, it does say studies show results are instant and improve with continued use of the full regime. So to get into my first, just my first thoughts of the products, the shampoo on the back, I told you it says work into a rich lather. I could not get this to lather. Um, I use as much as I would use my beloved Pureology that they discontinued. Um, my Pureology never really lathered much, so the fact that this didn't get like super soapy, sudsy, didn't bug me too much, except for the fact that it does say on the directions it should, but I love the smell just of all these products across the board. The smell is phenomenal, and I do think it cleaned my hair well. I didn't notice like any residue was left behind when I was washing my hair. The conditioner... I don't think I used enough of this. I think it was human error, not product error. But as I continue to use these, I can definitely update you on that. Normally when I use a conditioner for the first time, when I wash it out, my hair never feels that smooth again and he washes after it. That didn't happen this time. My hair felt super tangly. 
and I'm not quite sure why that is. Again, I think I don't you I didn't use enough of this product, so we'll see. Jury's still out on the conditioner. And then the 5-in-1 styling treatment. I did blow my hair dry today. I probably only do that maybe once a week. That's like pushing it. Like I normally just don't apply any heat to my hair whatsoever. But because it said for best results blow dry, I really wanted to give you guys the full effect with following the directions to a T. Um, I do find it interesting that it says for best results to blow dry because we all know applying heat to your hair is really bad for it. So I'm just really curious as to what they why they want you to do that and what the benefit of it is now that being said with all three products again they all smell good but it was kind of weird um I normally don't have a problem brushing my hair when I get out of the shower it's normally not an issue and before I filmed the first half of this video talking about what I was going to be trying out I just got back from the gym and I was like scrunching my hair to keep it tight while I was working out a lot and my hair was even more of a wreck than it was in that video but it was super tangly so I like re-put it up kind of and like brushed through the underside of it because I can't stand when you feel it super knotty back there when your hair is up so my hair had already been kind of brushed through I don't normally brush through it at all before I get in the shower. So that being said, when I got out of the shower and even when I was washing the conditioner out of my hair, it just felt extra knotted. And it just took me forever to brush through it and I've never had that kind of problem before. So I don't know if that's because, like I said, I didn't use enough of the conditioner and maybe even enough of the leave-in treatment. Um, I did feel like I used more of this than the conditioner, though. I'm not really sure what cause that. Um, that being said, the only other product I put in my hair besides these three is the same heat protectant I've used for years. It's one by Sebastian. Um, it starts with a T. I can't remember what it's called, but blowing my hair dry, it went fine. My hair is a little staticky for a while. Um, we are having Santa Ana's, which is if you live in another part of the country you probably don't know what that is but it just is really strong winds and my hair always gets super staticky during this time of year so until those go away I'm not gonna put any blame on the product but overall so far other than the whole tangly situation I think I like it I I mean it's hard to tell with hair care after the first use because whenever you use new products, your hair, I feel, at least my hair, always normally loves new products. It's not until like after the first two weeks that I really get a feel for how I truly like it. So I am going to do an update to this video if you guys would like. And that is all. Um, I don't know if I said this. I got this packet at Ulta. And... Yeah, that's pretty much my first impression of the Living Proof PhD Perfect Hair Day line. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the box down below. And please subscribe. It is always appreciated to me. I love talking to you guys. This is always super fun. And I hope you guys are all having a good day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are in this world. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.